Well, we can't keep a good man waiting. We were hoping that we would see the end of that frame, but there's life left in that match yet, even so. More twists to come with Ali Carter and Dominic Dale. We'll get back to that one in a moment because we do have to say congratulations to Graham Dot over the line again. Mike Dunn made that so, so tricky. For most of that match, every single time you seem to get away and, and, and start gaining some momentum, he kept on pegging you back to within one. You really had to earn that. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't much in the match. I think, to be honest, a little bit of luck I had. I was probably lucky to win that match, if I'm being honest. I think Mike probably played as well, if not better than me. How much confidence, though, do you have as, as you get closer and closer to the Crucible? Because it is an arena in which we've seen your finest snooker. Not, not just, of course, lifting the title in 2006, two finals as well. You do seem to like longer frame format matches. There's no doubt about it. I love it. But between the longer matches and also playing at the Crucible, I just I love it there. I just There's so much pressure. Like, even although I've qualified, right away you automatically get nervous because you know you're going to be playing at the Crucible. So, But I love it. I love it there. So hopefully I can play well again this year. Great day for the Scots. Alan McManus was one of the first players through from from this afternoon, you know, Anthony McGill's also there and, and now you as well. Yeah, it was quite good. Obviously the main three that was here, there was obviously Scott Donaldson and Ross Muir as well, but, but the main three that had the best chance of qualifying have qualified, so it's been pretty good. Massive experience for you at the Crucible and interestingly, whilst we were watching a few, uh, a few balls there between Dominic and, and Alistair, Carter, you were saying that actually, unlike almost every other player, we've, winning player we've interviewed here today, you are staying tonight because if you're playing on Saturday, you don't want to be distracted by going up the road and having to come back down on Friday. Yeah, so I'll see the draw. I think anything other than Saturday and I'll go home and see the kids for a day. But um, if I'm playing on Saturday, I'll just stay down. And you, you kind of keep quite a low profile when you're uh, going through your Sheffield campaigns, you, you hire a cottage and you're you're not seen too much at the Crucible. Yeah, I generally don't go down that much. Um, basically, all your practice should be done before you come here, so you're only really loosening your arm up before you play. So that's the way I've always treated it, and, and it's worked so far for me. So I'll keep doing it again. Well, fingers crossed, you, you get a tasty uh, match in the draw. I'm sure you will. Well done, Graham. You're Cheers. in it once again proving what a great performer you are over the longer frame format. We will return our attention to Neil Folds, who's calling the closing stages of Ali Carter against Dominic Dale. Thanks, Graham. Cheers, thanks. Well, that was uh, Rob Walker trying to rearrange the, the set here in the studio. We probably need to get over to that uh, Carter-Dale match now, actually. While well, we see Rod calls absolute carnage, which is one of his favourite words. 41 points.